Reliability in modern computing devices depends heavily on how heat is controlled. Adequate heat dissipation capabilities are often determined by the operating environments. There are different power usages which can vary in each environment. In electronic devices such as desktops, laptops, servers, tablets, smartphones, and even modern electric car engines, efficient heat management is a must. For higher power demanding applications such as discrete graphics processing cards and high power CPUs, large heat sinks and even liquid phase change assemblies coupled with external fans are commonly used. For lower powered hardware such as memory modules and phones, a passive heat spreader with a thermal interface material clipped onto the assembly is used to direct heat away from the critical components. The basic rule for device reliability in semiconductors is that for every 10 degrees Celsius increase in temperature will shorten the lifetime of the device by 50 percent. How do we manage such high demands in today's age of high power, small form factor, and high reliability? Many system designers look to bulk thermal conductivity of their thermal interface materials or TIM such as paste, grease, and pad adhesives. There are also other factors that determine the effectiveness of the thermal interface assembly. For example, the thermal interface resistance between the die and the thermal interface material, bond line thickness, and bonding area dimensions. In physics, the transfer of heat is primarily phonon propagation and scattering when hitting a boundary such as thermal interface materials. In power devices, heat is generated inside the chip and propagated out through the lattice vibration, phonon, of crystal-like semiconductors. When the phonon hits the thermal interface material, the dissimilar material causes scattering that will be different with each TIM, but this is not directly related to the intrinsic bulk thermal conductivity of the specific TIM. The TIM are typically polymers that are non-single crystal-like and typically transfer heat by its molecular motion. They are usually loaded with inorganic or metallic fillers that have a complex coupling with the polymer matrix making the prediction of the bulk thermal conductivity and resistivity nearly impossible without direct measurement. As discussed earlier, thickness plays a key role in overall effectiveness in thermal management. For any fixed mated surfaces with controlled thicknesses, if the thickness is above 50 microns there will be a drastic change in thermal performance. Most applications in semiconductor packaging utilize a controlled thickness in the 12 to 25 micron range. As for variations in fillers in TIM, it is often thought that the best thermal interface materials are filled with the most amount of silver or diamond. As for the performance of thermal interface materials at high temperatures, it is well documented that single crystal structures like diamond and most metallic or inorganic crystallites actually decrease the thermal transfer at high temperatures, while amorphous materials increase thermal conductivity with higher temperatures. For semiconductor and electronic cooling management, the first level is the die attachment to the substrate or lead frame. While a silver filled adhesive is typically a good choice where high electrical conductivity is required, AI technology has pioneered non-silver based die attached adhesives which provide lower thermal resistance and surpass the performance of even the best silver based adhesives. We have also developed highly thermally conductive and electrically insulating materials for flip chip packaging which benefit from the ability to conduct heat from the back side of the chip and the chip carrier substrate. AIT's thermally conductive underfills have been proven and used in some of the most stringent flip chip underfill applications where the need for better thermal dissipation is required in high temperature exposure applications. LED and solar applications also benefit from our thermal interface materials where lower resistance is critical. AIT has also pioneered and patented compressible phase change interface pads that have been proven to provide the lowest thermal resistance when compared to the leading thermal pads in the industry. In addition to paste and pad adhesives, we also provide self-supporting die-attach film adhesives with controlled flow to reduce the thermal interface resistance for power devices.